Hey, I had a question come up the other day of how to set a scheduled charge time, scheduled depart time, um, questions around that. So how to set it, click on the lightning bolt or the electricity, whichever one you want to call it, bring up the charging screen. On the charging screen, you can change your, wherever you want your charge percent to be on. I'm always 80% or lower. Um, you also have the open charge port, how fast you're going to charge. On these OG models, you can go up to 80 and 72 amps if they had dual inverters. And then what we care about is going down to this scheduled charging and scheduled departure. So you'll see that if I click on that, switch to scheduled charging, I can click on scheduled charging, and then I can turn it on and say, you know, what time do I want it to start charging at? So in Utah, there's a company called Rocky Mountain Power, and they have time of use. And that time of use ends at 9 o'clock. But the, uh, sorry, ends at 8 o'clock, actually. So you could start charging at 8.05, but that's kind of more of a peak power usage time. So what I do with mine is I set it for midnight or 1 o'clock, somewhere around there, because I, I only need 3 or 4 hours to charge the car to get it back up to 80%. Um, so that's how to set the scheduled charging. Now you can also switch to scheduled departure. And the scheduled departure is saying, what time am I going to leave my home? Meaning I need the car charged up at that point. So if you leave at 645, you can set it for 645. And then you can click on the settings. You can say, okay, I want it to precondition the car. I want it preconditioned all week or just on the weekdays? And I set it just on the weekdays. And then you can also enable off-peak charging. Oh, turn off scheduled charging, and then you can turn on off-peak. And how the off-peak is, you'll see it all week or just weekdays, and mine is just weekdays. And then you can click change, oops, change off-peak, and then my utility rate ends at 8 p.m. So then it will, you know, it will be ready to charge when I've told it to be ready to charge. So it'll be ready and preconditioned by 6.45 a.m. And then I've also said, you know, make sure that you only charge off-peak. And the off-peak ends at 8 p.m. So it would wait until after 8 p.m. And then it would start charging the car so that it's ready at 6.45 a.m. But I'll still you know, set that to be, you know, 1 a.m. just to be more grid friendly. So you'll see on there, it will say your vehicle will try to charge while the utility rates are the lowest. Okay, so that's how you turn on your preconditioning, how you have it set to precondition on both week, all week or weekdays, also your off-peak charging of all week and weekdays, as well as your scheduled departure time at 6.45 a.m. So then you hit set, and now it is scheduled. So you'll see it is set to depart by 8.45 a.m., and it will charge on off-peak rates. So that's how you set both of them. If you have any questions or if this was helpful, please let me know. Thanks so much.